was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Mom and I, that's my wife Katrina, we just finished doing the chores, you know, uh, milking the cows and everything, and we just put the kids to bed, because they were making noise all night, and during the day, they were by the barn in the chicken coop, they were playing hide and go look. So I said, kids, get to bed right away, because school's tomorrow, you know, you have to catch the school bus. So mom and I just had a cup of coffee there, we're sitting, have a lunch, and uh, then all of a sudden we said, let's look on the news. So we opened the TV, I were watching the news, and I heard in the distance some kind of noise, some rustling. I thought, sound a gun, must be a Halloween joke. Now it can't be a Halloween joke because it's Christmas, but you know, a close together side beach like that. And Katrina says, I think there's somebody on the outside. I says, no sir, I don't think so. She says, well, Metro, open up the light, you know, that shines past the barn there, the, the chicken coop and where we keep the dogs in there. So I opened the light. And there, standing by my messy 44 Cockshot Special Diesel, next to my half-truck to pick me up one, was some kind of guy with red suit on. Now, I never look on his face, but I knew I knew him from some place. You know, I know his face, but I just couldn't make him. So I go out, I grab the 23, you know, just in case somebody wants to steal my two-and-a-half bull-year-old. Three years ago, last summer, one guy come and he made me a connection danger, like it was, he must be some kind of high shot. Now this guy, I walk up and him, I says, Dai Borja, how's everything? He says, oh, like that, you know, 60-40, must be for sure 200%. And I look close in his face, he's got a big beard, you know. He looks like a hippie, yeah, a hippie, you know, he, uh, it's a guy that looks like a Jill and smells like a John. But I look close and he's got a red uniform and I figured he must be from the fire department. But he's not because he's got some kind of animals there, you know. And I say, how's everything going? He says, oh, poor good, pretty busy tonight. I said, well, where are you going uh, with those funny animals there pulling that, uh, that uh, you know, like a sleigh, you know. But it has a caboose and you got the fire in the inside to keep your foot warm so you don't froze it. And he says, I'm going to Solofanchuk's. Could you give me directions? I says, no problem. Now, from here, you go to the main road, or you go past the 53rd correction line, you go 11 miles south. No, pardon me, Chikai, Chikai. You go 3 miles south, then turn right, 4 miles. No, wait a minute, that's wrong. Katrina says, metro, metro, other direction. You go 4 miles east and 7 miles south. No, sir, Bob, I don't think so. I finally look at him and I say, you know, you just can't get there from here. He says, well, I'll try my luck. He says, I want to feed my reindeers. Reindeers? Ah, come on, you're pulling my leg. I say, that could be reindeers. He says, sure. I said, the only guy that got it is reindeers is Chris Kringolovich, Santa Claus. Sure. He said, well, that's I am. I said, come on, you're making danger to my head. You're pulling jokes, you little devil. No, but he jumps in those, how you call sleigh, and he shouts out their names, you know, like Mary, Nato, Olga, Nick, Walter. Jump with the